Sierra. Uh, my name is George. I'm located in Titusville, Florida. And this is the Monday night two meter sideband net. Everybody's welcome. Anybody that has two meter sideband, come on in here and join with us. We have uh, people from all over Florida, the northern part of Florida, all the way to the southern part of Florida. And uh, uh, right now I've got to be pointed to the north. Now, this week uh, I did get a different radio. I'm on a uh, FT991A. And uh, so if anybody gives me a report on that, I would appreciate it. See uh, uh, how we're doing. It. Uh, I went over to uh, Tampa and picked one up over that way. So anyway, uh, see, I got a couple of uh, in and outs already. Uh, and for PDT, he's got a bunch of company over there. Uh, the badge truck. So he has checked in and out. And Bob WA1 DDP. Um, he's out in Colorado, so I think he's visiting one of his uh, offsprings there. Uh, so, and then I have uh, GPM Moe's checked in from uh, around Jacksonville, and I got Jeb, uh, United Postal Worker, up there in uh, New Samara Beach. So, anybody else want to check in from the north? Come on now. Hey, good evening, George. This is KN4 AQJ Kilo November 4 Alpha Quebec Juliet, also on a 991 in Edgewater, Florida. Good evening. Okay, good evening. I'm saying I was Virginia for Mike. Mike. Mike is in there. Good evening, Mike. You uh, work things out with your doctor? Russia, and we had a pipeline going in Russia the last three days. 
All right. Well, let's see. We got a pipeline going up to New Smyrna Beach. James, United Postal Worker, come on aboard. Hello, hello. Happy Monday, everybody. Another week. Here we go. <laughs> this is KA4 UPW. Jim, James, up in New Smyrna Beach, Jack Lima 98, Mike X Ray. And uh, I'm here with uh, all the 991A. Uh, <laughs> tonight. But uh, George, audio is sounding great. You're spot on frequency with that radio and it's not drifting. So there you go. <clears throat> and the same with Ray. He's now got a 9700, so he's on frequency. And boy, oh boy, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to, I don't have to use the RIT anymore. Um, I think that knob blew it. Anyhow, uh, recording is running. I have a new microphone, or a, another microphone, pulling audio straight from the, from the radio. Um, and that's until I get the uh, tap off this microphone, the, the studio mic, the run that'll keep both the radio and the computer simultaneously. I got all the parts in the mail today for it, or at least the last of the parts came today. So now it's a matter of uh, wiring everything up and doing the audio balancing. Played with the audio a little bit yesterday um, and uh, on HF, and I'm told I've already been texted that the... the that there's a high level of noise on me right now, so I can't do much about that. We'll just have to deal with it tonight, and then uh, tomorrow I'll work on it. I use the same mic and setup for both radios. I just have a switch that switches the mic between radio N A and radio B. And yet, <coughs> sometimes it's uh, the, the, the both radios, even though they're both icons, act a little bit differently, and uh, uh, gotta get the settings set kind of the best of both, the best of both worlds. But that's where I'm at. It's always a project. Let's see what else. Sunday, a couple guys came up. Couple of guys came over. We put up, we stretched some seven inches hard line across the shack, and uh, in preparation for Tower Two to go up. Uh, the second tower is going to house some EOC stuff, and uh, my par army is going to go up there at a full 50 foot. So I'll be able to uh, actually enjoy the best of both worlds of having the army directionals and the um, and uh, the, the, the ID. <clears throat> In addition, I, now I, I measured the, uh, the isolation noise and the, uh, the, the loss of that line, so I'm going to order my preamp for the PARs to make up for the heavy cable loss as a kind of a mass amount of your preamp. So, always projects, but or at least, you know, every time you finish one, you close the door and move on to the next. Um, hopefully, sometime <laughs> in the next year, by this time next year, the shack will be up and running. By all bands, but anyhow, I'm back to net control, and uh, yep, my readers tell me I'll keep too long, so trust. <laughs> okay, well, um, I don't think you ever finish up a shack, you know, you're always doing something, uh, changing things around, and uh, adding radios and uh, uh, antennas. Seven eighths hard line, my gosh, I hope you didn't have to pay retail for that, but you could buy a house for what that was going to cost. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for being there, James. We'll back to you in just a little bit here. Okay, W. WA1 Mini P, Bob, he checked in by proxy. He's out. He flew his airplane out to uh, Colorado. Uh, so he's out there right now. And we'll be back next week. All right, let's see. We got Buzz. He was in there. And uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go to West Virginia for Mike, Mike, Mike. Come on board.
to the southern part, and uh, let's see, I know Bob's not going to be down there, but maybe Kathy Ann or uh, Charlie, one of those might be down in there, so let's see here, who else out the here, the key, the key, this is, this is all for us, and this is uh, Monday night, two meters, right then, and anybody from the south, want to check in, come on up. Okay, hold on, guys. Thank you. 
Uh, 
uh, on a Monday. Uh, KK4, uh, excuse me, uh, WG4ES, we got the wrong call, WG4ESK2IL, over. Plus nine, your, your S9 signal here in New Smyrna. Uh, Jim, can you hear him down there in Fort Pierce? I hear him very good. He's a S9 plus. All right, well, Steve, uh, Jim was up there in uh, just south of Daytona, and he's got a copy on you. Can you hear, uh, hear Jim? Uh, Roger, what's the question? Call. Go ahead and give me your call there, uh, Jim. Kilowatt America 4, United Papa Listen, K84 uh, KA4 United Papa Whiskey, is that correct? Yourself, yourself. Okay, fine, Jim. Yeah, you're about an SA here. But an SA, we got about 12 on the beam uh, going up the coast. And uh, we're pushing about a kilowatt here right now, a kilowatt. But, um, yeah, uh, what's your location again, over? Uh, New Smyrna Beach, just, uh, just a little south of Daytona here. Um, about five miles off the, the shoreline. Okay, well, you're pretty well up there a, a bit. So, uh, yeah, no problem with all copy here, Jim, over. Yeah, no, nice copy here. In fact, I get about the same signal on you, vertical or horizontal, so uh, I don't know, the conditions are kind of strange tonight. Yeah, I would think so. I would think so. I don't know if we got any kind of trouble open here. I didn't check the map. I just walked into the, uh, the station here and I saw a group on uh, 210 here and, and I just remembered that there was an echo going on on Monday. So I'm, I'm glad I was able to catch it tonight. Over. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah. And I hear some voices in the background. So maybe you're going to have somebody to the west here tonight too, George. Anyhow, nice signal up here. Join in at any time. Love to hear the uh, extra traffic. And I'll turn it back over to George down there next to Shaw. All right, uh, Steve. Appreciate you being there. Yeah, you got a great signal there. Uh, turn one in the kilowatt. Uh, <laughs> you're challenging uh, Jim there. I think he runs 1,500 watts. But anyway, uh, thanks for checking in. We appreciate that. And anybody else from the south that want to check in, come on now. Anyone anywhere from the south? South, hello, hey, it's a smart now. All right, nothing being heard. I'm going to bring the beam back up. Uh, got to bring it out over the Atlantic Ocean, and uh, we'll be around. Uh, we're going to head out over the western part of Florida here in Costa Rica. And this is the Monday night two-year side band that uh, that's been around from uh, 11, 12 years, uh, started by Roger Gorby. And uh, we're trying to keep it going. Uh, Roger passed away a little over a year ago. All right, we're going to do This is the Monday night uh, two-year side band that. Anybody want to check in? Come on now. Whiskey 4, Kilo Bravo X-Ray. Kilo Bravo X-Ray. What do you say, Chief? Oh, that is nice. That is nice. Well, uh, come on aboard there. He's our resident author. How you doing there, Rich? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. You're your usual mind, George, I just thought I'd tell you. What's this kind of fun about a new radio? Ah, uh, boy, uh, well, I know I've been using a couple years old. It's a 991A. And uh, I heard it advertised on the old goat uh, off day on Wednesday morning. And uh, uh, my buddy Russell, uh, and I was going over there. And I bought this one, and he bought uh, there was a 450 SP 450. And I was going to pick the logo up, but I was looking for one that uh, had a few more balls and whistles than uh, the model 736. Uh, so, uh, uh, it seems to work pretty well, I got to be honest, primarily for all these many years I've been in town. Well, it sounds wonderful. It's got a good, solid signal sound, and uh, it, makes you, it makes you sound better than you probably should. <laughs> well, I always feel like I'm doing better than I am before. So I need that. Well, I'm not 
months now, and it's been absolutely perfect. Wonderful little radio.